You know what time it is? It's pack rafting time, boys and girls. Isn't that right, mate? Let's get it done. Oh, mate, you lost already. Never me. <laughs> <laughs> G'day. So we're out here for a three, maybe a four day pack rafting trip. It all just really depends on uh, how long this guy takes to get ready. Um, I've been ready for about 48 hours now, so yeah, we'll see what happens, but pretty keen to get out there on the water and uh, give this guy hell. <laughs> the lads want a piece of this. I've got one for each of you. I wouldn't either. Here we go. Let's get in, mate. Ooh. Oh, feels good to be back. Back on the open seas. Hopefully you're getting some scenery and not just up my up my jock shots. Only fans are uh, link in the description below. So we don't know if we're going to be out here two nights or three nights yet. We're just going to play it by ear, see how we go, see how much we're enjoying it and how fast we're going, I guess. Not very fast though, as we've seen. Some more, some more much needed bush therapy. Just really looking forward to being out on the water again and just floating through some really pretty bits of Australia's, Australia's bush. So I've just got to our very first little rapid section. So we're just going to give it a little recon because it's been a little while. Smart. Brains over brawn sometimes. How you feeling about it? Pretty good, I think. Yeah? Yeah, tough guy? <laughs> Alright, man of action. Man of action, I'm going to hit it. Alert, alert. Alert, alert, bad boy coming through. He said, get rich or die trying. Oh, that was actually so much fun. Big dogs up. <laughs> Big dogs up. All right, here he comes. Get it done. Oh, perfect. Oh, textbook. He bloody nailed that line. He nailed it. Ah, shame on me. Oh, Come on then. Ah! I love this country. Big rock, I think I've cooked it. Oh. Did 10 out of 10 cooked it. Straight over, jagged boulder into nutsack. Oh, another one. Can I dodge it? Go that way, quick. Scotty, you and Laura, you and Laura got a baby on the way, don't you? We do, mate. And so uh, we, uh, do you want to tell them the big surprise? I'm going to name it Matty. Heard it here first. Just like a grass. Oh, it's the same kind of leaves and stuff. But yeah, it's just kind of like this. So then it shoots up the spikes and stuff so you can see it easy, but... I never realised there's like... Different ones, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I had no idea. Uh, they, from what I understand, um, they don't grow a trunk. Wow. Just like you. <laughs> Just getting a good shot. <laughs> Get wrecked. Come on then. Hey, bucket. 
So it's just ticked over four o'clock now. Scotty's picked out a point on the map that we potentially will camp at, um, hoping to get there by five o'clock. Uh, he's a bit tired from um, getting eight and a half hours sleep last night, so you know it's understandable. Land ahoy! Bloody hell, mate! He didn't make it. He never made it. What's this whole carcass off? It's a little face on the front of it. Look at that, that's creepy. <laughs> Crack on, don't end up like that guy. Alright, so we've just pulled up and we've got this little area here. It's not amazing, but it's actually, there's a pretty little river coming in from over here, a stream. I'll go bags the best spot. <laughs> home sweet home. Alright, pretty knackered boys and girls, so uh, for the setup I'm just gonna do one of these ones. <sighs> just like that, it took me about three seconds. Walk about swag, I've just got a summer weight sleeping bag and pretty much it, pillow. And a terrible roommate. <laughs> is that right mate? <laughs> How's those panic glides come along? Ah. <laughs> I didn't bring anything. Oh, that smells and sounds so good. Not a bad little spot, hey mate? Sit by the fire. Could be worse. Our own little private beach. Got some sweet and sour pork and just some rice to go with it. Ooh, we're ready. Just stuck that up for us. <laughs> <laughs> No worries there. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, well. <laughs> as you know, I'm see you sometime in the future. <laughs> absolutely wrecked. I'm gonna finish this and go to bed, and I'll see you in the morning. All right, guys. It's a shame though. Just as the firelight got real nice. Yeah. <laughs> That's how it goes though. Sometimes. See ya. Morning, just woke up. It's just about to hit 8 a.m. And what we hopped into bed about 8.30, quarter to nine. So I'm gonna be feeling much better today. Just started to sprinkle actually. Now oh, I might go back to bed though. Scotty's just realized that we're pretty much dressed exactly the same. Matt's so, copying me. Clearly. Yeah, so, I mean, <laughs> same jacket obviously, but we're both rocking black shorts. And then even our t shirts are same color. <laughs> pretty much exactly the same color. We've been hanging out too much together, mate. I've nearly reached final form. Got another snag, didn't he? So he's gone out in the raft to um, salvage the wreck. Make a coffee and uh, make some oats. So let's do it. Hair on point, fleek. All right, let's go, nice Scotty. Life, look, lit life. What is this hairy contraption? That's actually, um, that's Matsy's mustache breeding ground. Precarious work. Oh. Beautiful area, look how pretty it is, wow. Here you go mate, made your coffee. Ah, uh, just kidding. <laughs> I, got a, I got an important question for you. Oh god, here we go. Um, how much fish could a fisherman fish if a fisherman could fish fish? Emphasis on if and could. Are you having a go at my fishing skills? Is no. that what you're trying to say? <laughs> <laughs> like that one? 
I've just come up to scare all the fish away. Yeah. <laughs> Ruin the serenity and let him scare all the fish away. In high water, it'll be nice to run this river. Yeah. Mother Nature, baby. Come get some. Torpedo. The Massey torpedo. It's actually beautiful here. Woo Cold dip and a hot coffee. Dead. Oh my good. I oh, know. I'm actually talking. <coughs> footage of oh, me I'm just trying to like. Give me after me after. Okay, it's just about to hit 10:30. We've got about 15 k's or so to cover today. Pull down the tarp. Get packed up. All right, we're all packed up. We're about to hit the water again. Obviously, leave no trace. Leave no trace. Leave no rubbish. Nothing. Let's hit the water. The flow of life right there isn't it pretty much doesn't matter what you're up to it just keeps on moving you can try to fight it or you can ride it I choose to ride <laughs> yuck sometimes you get caught in that flow and it takes you places you know what I mean you get caught up in that and you're onto a good thing and you're, you're sailing. Sometimes you're trying to go that way and that water is just like a wall of negativity and pressures just pushing against you and it's a battle. It's not to say it's not doable, it's just gonna be a lot harder than for those going this way. It's a flow of life right there. It's a flow of life. People often often ask me, Matsy, why are you um why are you putting sunscreen on when it's like so overcast and it's raining, mate? You're not gonna get burnt. <sighs> Better to be a warrior in a garden than a gardener in a war. Basic. Ah, just let the river take you! Let the river do with you what it will. About to go over a rock, hip up. Oh. All good, baby. Wow. Backwards, no fear. Right oh, I didn't even put helmet on. Whoa, whoa, whoa. That was a good one. Give me another good day. If this river wasn't already easy enough to paddle with the water levels, <laughs> this bit of rain's gonna make it even easier. Violent that one. Just seen some big metal box on the up here. Let's go check it out. It's a rock. It's a it's a rusty coloured rock, never mind. Where's Rob Parsons or Levi when you need him, boys? Right, I've, I'm on to gold. Is it sprinkled in here? This gold's loaded. I mean this rock's loaded with gold. You can see it glistening there. More around here. <laughs> We're rich! It's lit it's all over this place. I'm taking this rock home. Oh, 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 oh,
always lost the paddle. Oh, I'm the best. I made it. I'm the best. Uh, I just washed right up on it. Right here. Emergency, emergency. Pass it to the rest of you. <laughs> You're welcome, mate. That was gnarly. Yeah, that was a gnarly one. Oh. Having the best of us, mate. <laughs> Uh, we've just pulled over to let some water out but just something to point out like scotty's got his camera in that dry bag there which is generally what i have uh where i have mine when i bring it but he's got like five six grand I've worth got my, i've got a very expensive camera with a very expensive lens in there yeah with plus my phone and then in this bag i've got my drone Best oh practice. yeah of course just dunked straight underwater content, hey? so yeah it's more than just uh Risking, risking life and limb out here. It's yeah. Risking all your, all the tech gear you got to carry out here to do this stuff. Little caterpillar along for the ride. Anyway, we're gonna have some lunch. I'm just rocking a muesli slice with apricot yogurt, followed up by a protein chocolate brownie. It's raining. It's raining. <laughs> it is raining. <laughs> Not even bothered. Yeah, right, so we're about to step off again and um, blue sky, isn't it? Sun's out, rain's gone, blue sky, just blue sky everywhere, bright sun, makes sense. Anyway, let's go, mate. <laughs> this sun is so nice. Looks like a completely different world now with the sun out and the blue sky. Unbelievable. Ah, mood's up, feeling warmed up, feeling good. Let's go. Had some boys and girls. <laughs> was. We've just pulled up on this really nice big flat area. The hills you can see like quite far back from where the river is. Just just checking it out, bit of a sus. Yeah, look at all that flat area there you can camp on. Ah. Yeah, that's where I left that. That's where I left my shopping board. Such a beautiful spot. We're just saying it just has such a zen-like feeling to it. It's hard to explain. I think I think being away from the rapids, just how peaceful it is, definitely adds to it. But what a spot. A little bit over halfway now to where we want to camp tonight, which is about 15 kilometers away from our first camp. It's sad that this one didn't line up with it because that would have been awesome. But it's always good to remember these spots as well. Gold, gold all through here. Very pretty, very pretty. Okay, so we got a pretty specky camp site for tonight. Nice view down that way, the mountains, a couple boulders, Scotty might try his luck on with some fishing. Beautiful big sandy bank for us to camp on. So I'll probably set up, thinking I'll set up along these trees somewhere so I get a good view either way. All right, um, so far so good. That's got his shelter, but you know, stay pace. It might move any second now, I don't know. Uh, it's a thumbnail game, isn't it? I've just got this bad boy going on here. That's home for the night. Nice bit of shelter. The rain comes down tonight. 
Look at the look at the front porch. Look at the view from the front porch. Woo! Oh mate. Do the crocodile. What well, yeah. <laughs> Refreshed. The colours around camp right now are just stunning. It's gonna be a real nice evening out here. I can't get over it. The colours, mate. Life. You wouldn't read about it. <laughs> you wouldn't read about it. We got gale force winds. <laughs> Just got the fire going. Huge crack of thunder comes out. Look, <laughs> that looks sick. Mate. <laughs> the, the weather lords have not shined down the us, <laughs> have they? We had about 10 minutes of a beautiful afternoon and then. <laughs> Rest is history. Yeah. That looks pretty, pretty cool out there though. Wow. Oh, it's life, isn't it? Might be, might be cooking up under our shelters and not over the fire. Yeah. <laughs> not a bad little hiding spot, hey, to wait it out. Blue sky over there rain here what's happening with that nothing left to do now but have some din dins doesn't look too bad hey it's tasty mate what are you doing mate it was mine <laughs> time, to, time to get my dinner <laughs> another good sleep let's get it That's very warm. Might leave that for a minute, I think. Well, it looks like we're potentially gonna have a blue sky day because this is all like low laying cloud, fog, mist, whatever you wanna call it at the moment, but you can see a pale blue through it. So I believe once this all clears up, it'll be a nice blue sky day. Scotty's just having a fish. <laughs> I don't know why he bothers sometimes. You're witnessing the first touch and the grace of the sun peeking over the mountain well it could be hot out on the water today but um we're about to pack up and hit it get it and we're off cool dude hey I can. Today is a bit of a dedicated fish while you pack raft day. See what luck we have. I know 
on. <laughs> so this big ridge line you can see in front of us is actually where we've hiked down before to do one of our other pack rafting trips on this river. But we're gonna cruise on past this for a little while yet, find another campground to spend the final night, and then we'll have an easy paddle, a real short paddle tomorrow, and a bit of a hike out of here. Yeah, it's cool to be back. I did bring some line and some lures, but to be honest, I knew that I wanted to just relax whenever I could on this trip. So having Scotty pull over to have a cast, it's just giving me this awesome time to literally sit here like this and just stare at the mountains and the ridge lines and watch the birds and stuff. I've been so busy lately, so it's really nice just to have moments like this. It's perfect. Okay, he just had a bass go for the lure from underneath a rock and it was literally sitting right underneath him. So we could be on. Oh, did he come off? Oh, he's on. That is a decent sized bass, mate. Nice. Well done, mate. We finally got one. <laughs> you did it. Very nice. Yes. That is a beautiful looking bass. Great work. We got there in the end, mate. You did. Just like nice blues and golds in them. Cool. Very nice. Classic summer's day in Australia, hey? We'll see what this has in store for us. I feel like it might be passing. Like I was saying to Scotty, it's such a typical, a typical Aussie summer day. And uh, now we've got the storm coming, it's even more so. I just remember as a kid growing up in Sydney, the amount of times I just remember hailstorms and going out into the yard afterwards and for some reason collecting hailstones in a bucket. A classic summer day in Australia. The river's just turned into a bit of a wind tunnel and uh, the rain's starting to fall. Mate, we've had it all out here. We've had it all. <laughs> Not complaining, it's been amazing. Sun's out, gun's out again. What's going on? Sandstone. Sandstone there, mate. What sort of sandstone configuration? Uh, conglomerate sandstone. Conglomerate. Wow. How's it feel, mate? Beautiful. <laughs> it's a thing of beauty, mate. <laughs> <laughs> He's in his element. I am more of a Hawkesbury sandstone enthusiast, but conglomerate's still pretty good. <laughs> This is it. Is it though? Uh, is it? Oh, maybe not. Uh, I feel like this is where I took a drink last time. Where I had my feet outside and I just got bounced straight out the back of it. Scotty's not sure, so I'm probably wrong. Here be dragons! I'd be lying if I wasn't a little bit nervous. Did it start raining? Oh, oh. Look at this thing. I hope Putin didn't press the bloody button on it before we've been out here. I'm about to hit it, no pack, because that's what I do. He's gonna carry my pack down there, I hit it, and then I'll pick it up. Uh, Mission Impossible style.
We've lost the paddle again. Oh, there it is. The paddle's over here. Fail <laughs> fast, learn quick. And you got a little beat up. Pack up and the paddle came free out of that little uh, washing machine there and I managed to recover that. Now I just got to get back over to get my pack from the other side. Serious note, never doing that one again. That that's that's some stuff. That's some stuff you don't tell your mum about. That they call you the mad dog for a reason, mate. <laughs> mad dog Matsy. <laughs> mad dog Matsy. Scotty showed me the footage. It looks exactly how it felt. <laughs> I felt like my body got con con contorted yeah. into a tube and I just got, <laughs> you know those like in the movies where you see like letters and stuff being put oh, in a little yeah. tube and then they thunk. <laughs> that is the best way to explain it. <laughs> I'm, I'm done, let's spawn camp. <laughs> <laughs> Live fast, die hard. Sun sharon, what a place for one. Maybe I did perish, and this is heaven. It was my dying wish that Scotty be with me. <laughs> grass trees up there and they want you in an office mate they want to see you in an office you can't cage me mate they want you in an office mate but look at this it's out here and they've got you caged up behind those glass windows <laughs> metaverse <laughs> those people are in the matrix not us mate not us surreal so we're thinking about maybe trying to set up camp on one of these little beaches in the gorge like this one here but there are still goats around kicking down a few little rocks a bit earlier on so we don't know we don't know if it's too risky we're gonna suss it out we won't do it if it is I mean, we could, yeah, we could make it work. This could be camp, and it looks pretty beautiful. Um, there's, a, there's a couple reservations. Very damp. Um, waterfall there. That's a waterfall. We have seen a couple of like little rocks along the way dropping down from goats, but it's not so steep here. There's, there's also a couple of little terraces that the rocks would land on. Um, but mate, pretty bloody epic. I don't think he's keen. <laughs> yeah, I haven't, I haven't, I don't feel completely convinced. <laughs> Which sitting, you know, sitting on the couch looking at this footage right now, you'd be like, why aren't you camping there, you moron? Or why aren't you pumped? Because it is pretty bloody specky. But nah, we're, yeah. We're going to camp here. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to camp here. We chose to stay and fight. I take back everything I said. I have no reservations about camping here. Look at that. We're on, brother. Just scared all the bass away. So Scotty actually managed to jump on the inReach and get a forecast for tonight because that's really what we were most concerned about, how much rain we might get in the middle of the night, having that potential waterfall <laughs> behind us. But uh, we got the all clear, no rain tonight. Apparently. Apparently, apparently. It's apparently. looking like a storm tomorrow night though. Yeah. So yeah, it, ha it has actually cleared up above us a bit and it's moved on. So that's camp, isn't it mate? It's tough out here. Could do worse. <laughs> <laughs>
So a lot of you would have noticed um, if you've been watching the channel for a little while, uh, fresh hat. Don't really know how I feel about it just yet. Got to wear it in, you know what I mean? But, but, this location, this location, you know what? Calls for the OG. Couldn't be out here without this little guy, could I? Wouldn't be right. I think it's, it's nearly time, isn't it? <laughs> nearly. <laughs> Well guys, it's been a few days on the water obviously, pretty knackered, nearly died today. <laughs> We're in an incredible spot, it's obviously so bloody beautiful. And as much as I want to share every second of it with you guys, I really just want to zen out and enjoy the place, hey. I think you can understand that. So I think Scotty and I are going to cook up a feed, do a bit of fishing and soak up the atmosphere before we go to bed. Cheers guys. See you in the morning. Steve in paradise. That's the out. Crummy view, eh? Crummy view. Scotty. Did a rock fall on you, mate? Heaven? <laughs> it very well could be. My hands looking pretty swelled up. Look at that. Bloody hell, mate. Going for a cast, mate. Oh, yeah. More brekkie? Oh, yeah. Last coffee for the trip. Let's hope we don't get stranded or I, I might not survive. I feel like I should have something philosophical and wise to share with everyone right now, but <laughs> don't really. It's just a pure Zen moment. The place just sort of slows you down and shuts you up. I joked about the metaverse yesterday or the day before. Come out here, boys. Just come out here, make yourself a cuppa. Have a cold swim. Not actually having a crack at anybody, but I do find the metaverse stuff all a bit strange. <laughs> <sighs> anyway. Oh, anyway. I won't worry myself with that right now, will I? Cheers, mate. Cheers. To the best place on planet Earth. Probably. Alright guys, well, we're pretty much packed up now. Unfortunately we do have to leave this beautiful place. We're going to jump back in the raft. We've only got about 2 or 3 k's to go. So let's hit the water. We're going to go walk in and check out this waterfall. <laughs> Unbelievable. Let's go, mate. Let's go explore. What is this magic? Enchanted forest up in there. No way. Oh my lord, we really have died and gone to heaven. Look at this. Look at this epic swimming hole amongst these she oaks. Shaded with this giant waterfall behind us. What? Mother Nature, baby! 
Come get some. Well guys, I can't think of a better way to end this video. We're gonna go jump under this waterfall. It's been an amazing trip. Thank you for watching. What a place. We've done it again. Too many years, too many tears on your face